One of the last day deceptions in this hour is getting the people to figure out where they come from, getting them to uh, explore the idea that they may be one of the lost tribes of Israel or that they may be uh, a descendant of David. They even may be a descendant of Jesus Christ as far as jo Joseph and Mary. But when it all comes down to it, ultimately, the whole human race comes from Adam. But the devil likes to get us on rabbit trails. He likes to get people off on a tangent. It doesn't matter whether you're a Jew, a Gentile, or if you think you're one of the lost tribes of Israel. None of that matters. Because Jesus said, except you are born again except you follow him in the regeneration, in the bathing and washing and regeneration of the Spirit of God and the truth. There must be a born-again experience where you're being transformed and changed by the truth in the Spirit of God. If you're not going through that transformation then you will not be accepted in God's kingdom. Because the scripture says that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Now, Peter said, being born again. So, when people say, I'm a born again Christian, do they really understand what they're saying? This is an ongoing regeneration that we're following Jesus in through the truth, in which he calls the regeneration. It's a new birth. You're being made new again. Now, when you think of that, that's quite an awesome thought. That's an awesome concept. Being made new again. That's what was lost in the fall. That's why the Bible calls the devil that old devil, that old serpent. Everything that gets around sin, everything that gets around Satan becomes old. Anything that gets around sin becomes old and eventually dies. The wages of sin is death. Sin always causes sickness, it always causes things to age, and that's why people are growing old in this world, is because sin is in this world. In God's kingdom, you don't grow old. In God's kingdom, there is no aging. So, stop thinking about whether you came from, whether you're a Jew whether you're a Gentile, whether you're one of the lost tribes of Israel. Don't be concerned about your DNA. Don't be concerned about your family tree and ancestors and all these things. What you should be more concerned about is, are you part of the family of God? Have you begun to be born again? Have you entered into that regeneration through the truth of God's word and through the Spirit of God. Are you being born again, not of corruptible seed, but the incorruptible seed, which is the Word of God, by the Spirit of God? It's fantastic. It's wonderful. It's awesome to be born again. Born from the beginning. Born from above. And this cannot be done through some New Age concept of higher consciousness. This has to be done through the operation of the Holy Ghost by the truth of God's Word. We're being birthed from this world into that world. We're being translated from this world into the Kingdom of God through the Spirit of God.
by the truth of God's Word. So God gives us the truth of His Word, the revelation of His Word, and as we hear that truth and we apply it to our life, we are bathing in the Spirit of God, being changed, renewed by the Spirit of God. That's what it means to be born again. That's what it means to follow Jesus in the regeneration. Friends, I, I, I hope that you understand that the simplicity of what I'm sharing with you. Because there is a devil, there is a serpent that is going about subtly, like he did in the garden, trying to get folks to believe that it's based on their roots of their ancestors, their DNA, it's based upon uh, their lineage. It doesn't matter if I'm of the seed of Jesus Christ as far as in the physical. That's not going to get me to heaven. If I am James, the brother of Jesus, and have not been born again, I'm not going to heaven. Jesus had some folks come up to him and said, Jesus, your brother and your sisters and your, your mother is outside. Jesus said, who is my brother? Who is my sister? Who is my family? He says, but they that hear the word of God and obey it. That's what Jesus said. Let's take heed to the words of Jesus. Let's not get caught up in the deception in this hour. What bloodline do I come from? No, we all come from that bloodline of Adam of old. Every one of us come from that seed. However, if you're being born again, you're being born of Christ. Christ Jesus, that seed which is incorruptible. That seed of Christ that was impregnated into Mary without knowing a man. That, in, that, that immaculate conception, that virgin birth, where that seed of Christ produced Jesus Christ, produced Jesus Christ on this earth. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And now that same incorruptible seed comes into the believer, just like Mary. And we have the potential, every one of us, of allowing Christ to grow in us to the measure, the stature, of the fullness of the fullness. Not just a 12-year-old, not just a 30-year-old, but full age. Folks, do you understand? It's Christ in us, the hope of glory. We start out as a babe in Christ, just like in the physical. Spiritually, we start as a babe, children, sons, fully grown men. Fully developed. And this has nothing about gender. This is a spiritual idea. This is a spiritual concept. This is spiritual. There is no gender with God. There is no male or female with God. One new man was God's ideal. That was God's plan. One new man. And be, beware, because even the New Ages are teaching one new man through uh, a collective consciousness. That's the deception in this hour as well. So you that understand...